Greetings to you all. This is a presentation to show you what is happening in New Oweri. Please come and join us. This is about a multi-billion Naira project currently under construction in Oweri. The project called Denka Business City was flagged off with a groundbreaking ceremony when the foundation stone was laid by Dr. Ralph Nwosu, the Imo State Commissioner for Works on the 20th of October, 2021. At the event, Dr. Nwosu urged investors and real estate enthusiasts not to miss the opportunity to buy into the project early. The mood in Oweri that day was joyous and upbeat as the ceremony signaled the commencement of the long-awaited project. This multi-billion Naira project is a joint venture project by Solar City Housing and Commercial Estates Limited, a real estate development company based in Abuja and the landowners with Fidelity Bank as project funders. The executive director of Solar City, Sir Solomon Nwaku, who spoke during the ceremony, gave a commitment that the project will be completed by April 30, 2023. He said that the commercial estate occupying over 2.1 hectares of land will comprise mix of shops, apartments, and leisure facilities to be sold to interested subscribers. The location is ideally situated a few blocks from the popular Concord Hotel, adjacent to Mimi's Place and directly opposite the new Everyday Supermarket. It is also bounded on the north by the Imo State House of Assembly Complex. Sir Solomon explained that all essential services of power, water and cooking gas will be provided on a 24-hour supply basis. Also speaking, the Imo State Commissioner for Budget, Economic Planning and Statistics Right Honorable Engineer C.C. Oswala who laid the foundation stone for the project lauded the prosperity initiative of the current government of Senator Hope Yuzer Dinma which provided the inspiration for investors to undertake the project. He observed that the project was in consonance with the present government's drive to attract investments to the state and commended the project initiators for bringing a project that will bring financial impact of this magnitude to Imo State. In his own remarks, the Imo State Commissioner for Works, Ralph Nwosu ESQ expressed government's attraction to projects that improve city landscape and improve the urban status of Awari. He assured that government will provide all necessary infrastructure required for the sustenance of the business city. He promised to use his office to improve on all access roads surrounding the project site. Earlier in his remarks, the chairman of OCDA, Awari Capital Development Authority, engineer Innocent Pamazi confirmed that all due diligence protocols, statutory requirements and land ownership verifications had been concluded by the developers before the building plan approval was granted. He commended the developers' seriousness and willingness to comply with all existing laws and regulations affecting the project delivery. Other speakers at the event include Mr. Chukwini Yeramichi, the Director General of Imo Geographic Information Service IGIS, CBN Cooperative Representative, Fidelity Bank representative and Chief Perry Nwangama, who represented the Nwangama family, the landowners. The groundbreaking event ushered in the construction program which commenced with the selection of seven capable contractors to construct the seven different structures within the estate. The contractors were handed over their sites between the 15th of November and the 15th of December and are progressing steadily with a completion target date of April 30th, 2023. Recently, members of the Nigerian Institute of Estate Surveyors and Valuers visited the site to access the progress so far made on site. The visit served to reconfirm the commitment made by the developers to complete the project on time. My name is Sukuyaka Beji. I have been the Director General for Imo Geographic Information Service. On behalf of Solar City Commercial Estate, I want to assure you that this project will be delivered on time. So our track record, we will receive our blueprint in the world. Knowing the kind of relief is going to give the seeming number of Imo in accommodation and the other thing. We see it coming at the right time. This will be the first solar power building or hotel or apartment or whatever you can call it. Big project like this, standing strong in 
Congolese. So on behalf of Congolese Capital Development Authority, on behalf of the government of Yuma State, every led by the most distinguished in the of the man, the man with a golden heart. I welcome you people to Yuma State, and I wish you all the best. Two words to always invite OCDA as well, giving you the status permit before you track your foundation. The OCDA teams are here to monitor what you are doing from the foundation. They look at, we monitor all that they are doing here. God bless all of us in Jesus' name.